one of my favorite bands, the Maccabees, split up yesterday. And I didn't really get a chance to sort of talk about it in yesterday's video. I was lying to you by saying that I was making a video that night about light painting and stuff. I did do some light painting, but it wasn't actually light painting. You'll see what I mean when I actually finally upload the video. Anyway, um, yeah, band breakups are hard to deal with. And, but, and, but, what, uh, <laughs> uh, it's tricky because at the time when you find out you're sad, but then you realize that the music's, the music is still there. The music will never ever go unless you lose your headphones. But even then, you can literally just go. And then you, ha you have it. I just realized I just showed you that over there. And it, yeah, I'm, I'm not a slob, I promise. Okay, I'm a bit of a slob, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have a shower because I smell. I find myself in Clacton. <laughs> go away. <laughs> So, I've realised that this video so far has been a little bit kind of, like, scrambled because I started out talking about a band, and a band breaking up, and then I just ended up in Clacton. Um, and then, I'll be honest, I didn't finish the band breakup video. I wanted to, at, the, at that time, you know, obviously when you start a video you kind of want to finish it, but I... Okay, let me explain. I found out that I wasn't working today. Around half eleven, twelve-ish. So I thought, brilliant, I'll go and see my friend in Colchester or Clacton, whatever one it was. Uh, Clacton. So, got the bus there, beautiful, eight quid, wonderful. Essex all day ticket, brilliant. I'm not sure why I'm telling you the prices of the bus, but ignore me. Don't ignore me. So, we had a lovely day in Claxton. We had a little wander around, and it was good. Me and my friends, we went to the pier. I got an electrode and a Voltorb, and I saw, is it a Flareon? Basically, basically Pokemon I'm talking about. I, I didn't just go there for Pokemon, I promise. But, I mean, there was apparently a Pikachu on the pier down there, and I thought, you know... I hope that does appear, but it didn't appear. Appear? Can it, can it appear? I appear to be making terrible puns today, as always. I should probably just get on with the video. We were at the pier at around like seven ish, roughly. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll go and get my bus. So we went to the bus bit we missed the last one so now bearing in mind I'm 20 years old I have never ever been on a train by myself before yeah I know it's sad deal with it so oh I'll admit I was a bit nervous and in all honesty I had every right to be because of what happened next oh god got on the train wonderful Music in, fantastic, loved it all. I mean, the train journey itself, for the most part, was fairly nice. I realised that I hadn't actually paid for, like, the journey. And then I realised that, like, I was near Chelmsford, where I was getting the train to. And then I thought, hang on a second. If I don't pay, then I'm screwed, obviously. And it actually worked out amazingly well. Because basically what happened was, I missed my stop. And I ended up in Ingatestone, which is like the next stop. 
And I was like, literally like shitting myself. Like, oh my God. I was on, I was on the phone to my friend, like panicking because I was like, oh my God, oh my God what's going to happen? Like the taxi's really expensive. And, oh, and I was like genuinely worried. I spoke to this lovely girl on the train and she was like, you know, an expert at everything. And she was like, oh, I just press the button and all that stuff. And I was like, okay. It wasn't like that. I wasn't like, okay, I think you. Yeah. And so then I got off in Gatestone and it was like a ghost town. It was like post-apocalyptic, like really quiet. I just feel like this story's really shit. So I, 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 I paid for a ticket, but like, I only paid for the return journey from Ingate Stone to Chelmsford, which in fair enough was fairly expensive, £5.30, and I saved myself like nine quid, kind of. And then I got on the train to Chelmsford, and my friend doesn't know this, but I sat in first class without realising it because the door was just open and I thought might as well just sit and there was like these business people with iPads and faces and suits and stuff and I was like I don't belong here because I was wearing like my ripped jeans and my leather jacket and I was like you know just scruff box McGee just 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 chilling you know I don't belong here and I sat like parallel to this dude who was watching I think it was anime, and the reason why it worked out really well that that happened, because you need to have your ticket with you when you get to Chelmsford. And if I didn't have my ticket, which I didn't have one, I didn't pay, I would have just been like, "Fuck, um, I've you know I've got here, I've got to um, Chelmsford, but I can't do anything now." Because I'm there, brilliant. But I can't, like, you know, go back up and jump off the bridge. Cause that's a bit dangerous and I'd probably die. So I thought, okay. And then I was there, obviously. I had my ticket. And I gave him the receipt, which... Don't give the ticket man the receipt. Because he doesn't want the receipt. He just wants, you know, the ticket. Gave him the ticket. And I gave him, like, all the wrong ones first. So I, got, I was given three for some reason. And then I thought, okay, that's fine. I was in Chelmsford, I tried to find my bus, and I thought, hang on a second, it's like half past nine, that bus is going to come. Long story short, I got a taxi. Now, I want you to guess how much a taxi from Chelmsford to Malden costs. Bearing in mind, that's like ten miles. I'll give you, I'll give you like three seconds. It cost me £27.50. The bus from Malden to Clacton, £8. The train from Ingatestone, for some reason, to Chelmsford, £5.30. £9 the other one had I paid. That's pretty much like all of them added up together for a 10 minute journey. Anyway, in the taxi, I just basically, you know, bragged about my YouTube channel. And said, I make YouTube videos and I make videos about mental health. And the driver was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Cool. That's nice. Yeah. And it's weird because I'm not, I don't see myself as a very self-centered person. But taxi situations are so awkward because if you don't talk to them, you feel like a prick. But if you do talk to them, you feel like a prick because it's like, what do you talk about? You know? Like your hair today, or something. How fast does this thing go? Can you do any tricks? 